Watch out! There's a hungry shark coming for you! Oh! oh. I've got her! Ah! She's bit me! Well, it's a good thing she's not hungry anymore. Else you guys would be fish food. Have you ever wondered why some sharks need to swim in order to breathe, and some can stay at the bottom of the ocean and be perfectly fine? Well, that's because sharks can do two types of breathing. The first type is called ram ventilation, where the shark has its jaws slightly wide. I said slightly. There we go. And it allows water to pass through its mouth and out through its gills as it swims. And we see this in sharks such as the black tip reef shark, the great white and the speedy mako. Now the second type of breathing is called buckle pumping. Now buckle pumping refers to the muscles used behind its head that sort of acts as a suction cup. And this suction cup goes <gasps> and forces the water out through its gills. Now buckle refers to the word mouth and well you can't really remember it because it doesn't sound alike. Well I like to use a belt. So the water is sucked in <gasps> And then he's pushed out through the gills. Now the gills close afterwards to stop the water from going back in because it's deoxygenated and would drown the shark. And we see this in species such as the sand tiger shark and everyone's favourite word, the wobbegong. And that is shark breathing in under two breaths.